Um, so this piece is actually titled Car Breakdown. Um, before this, it was titled Pseudo Girlfriends. Um, but anyway, it's a long story. So, and I've named it so because as I was writing it, I realized that the car um, became quite a significant symbol for the characters and also because it opens with the car having broken down. Um, this short play is a slice of the life of two people and this specific moment in their lives that you are about to witness is them coming to terms with their inability to, to reach, to explore the possibility of something great due to life circumstances. And I think this is universal and everyone will face this at some point and we all try to reconcile with this aspect in life. Um, finally, I'm really thankful for this cast and I couldn't have asked for a better one. Um, it's been a great joy working with Nadine and Jay and I hope you enjoy the play. <laughs> North 
star. <laughs> North star. It symbolizes something. Well, I'll tell you now. The North star is the brightest star in the constellation of Ursa Minor. And do you know why the star never moves and why all the other northern stars rotate around it? It wasn't rhetorical. Do you? No. <laughs> Anyways, because the star never moves, it is a useful fixed point for celestial navigation and astrometry. Wait, I'm getting there. So, Shakespeare's sonnet 116 is an example of the North Star as a guiding principle. Oh no! Love is an ever fixed mark that looks onto tempest and is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark whose words are known though his height be taken. Oh, this bloody tempest of an engine, I can't do it! No, not a fixed mark at all, but star crossed lovers. Babe, just quit with the cost you! It's not about the cost you! Star-crossed lovers, but still, 
lovers nonetheless. 